in the previous lecture we found that the uh, total energy of the solar radiation that was indicated by h naught was about to find just only the thing required to find that was the sunrise uh, angle to be known so today we will try to find the sunrise and sunset our angle so that we can find the radiation energy at any particular day at any particular time for in particular location so let us continue uh, from the last figure we have drawn i am not able to redraw it but just i am writing the relation from there one relation we can write from the azimuth angle from from the zenith angle l cos theta z is equal to l if i am right cos declination angle cos latitude angle and cos hour angle plus l sin um, declination angle and sin latitude angle okay so we are writing this relation from the previous figure drawn okay the okay let me draw once again to make the things clear we are here consider any plane here normal to this plane is n radiations are coming like that this angle was theta z and with this theta z the radiations that are coming l theta z can be written as l cos delta cos phi cos omega l sin delta sin phi we are not going to redraw and find all the relations this is already we can say defined now during the sunrise or sunset what we find this is the horizontal surface that is pa parallel to the equatorial plane during the sunrise the incident radiations will come parallel to the surface or during the sunset it will be parallel to the surface so in that case theta and uh, the normal should be like that how much theta will be there the incident radiations are like that and n is like that at any another time except from the sunrise and sunset the radiations are coming like this as we are moving towards noon like that at the noon it should be like that and after noon it should be like that radiations are coming like that okay but in the morning during the sunrise the radi radiations are coming like that and this is in normal n n axis okay so the angle made by the n with the radiation will be how much 90 degrees so from here we can say theta z is equal to 90 degree at the rise and set time so this is very important term that helps us to find the relationship so this is uh, theta z is 90 now from here so zenith angle becomes 90 during the that put the value here it will be zero it will be zero and from there cos delta cos 
phi and cos omega will be equal to the because it is zero at rise time or set time so we can say rise time plus sin declination angle sin latitude angle from here try to relate divide from divide full terms from cos declination and cos phi same uh, division here also so zero by this term zero by this term will be zero so here it will be cos omega s r term this term will lift and this will be one and plus tan delta and tan phi term will be there it will be equal to zero so we can say omega s r will be cos inverse cos inverse of minus tan delta tan phi in this way the term omega s r is also known <coughs> because in h naught there was two terms that was unknown so how much if you remember it was the 24k by pi when we transform it from radian to uh, kilowatt hour and solar constant after that this term was there okay let me write to make the things more clear uh, cos declination angle cos latitude angle and co i think it was sin not cos sin omega rise time plus omega rise time sin delta sin latitude yes this was the full term in kilowatt hour per kilowatt hour per meter square per day so before coming to this let us finalize this term once again omega sr is equal to this and it is equal to absolute value of sun set hour angle so in this way we can say sr and absolute value of ss will be same just with negative sign it should be there so omega is s will be minus time omega s r so these two important terms are there that should be known to us now so this is the here should be pi this is the term that defines the solar radiation energy at any particular day at any particular day at any location with any declination at any time of the day okay so i think the things are clear to everyone now this is the final term okay so what was k k was just uh, in the previous section we studied 0.033 cos i think 360 by 365 n yes it was the k and the solar constant was 1.37 it is uh, the defined term already kilowatt per meter square and the extraterrestrial of the uh, atmosphere and the solar sunrise power angle sunrise hour angle is uh, derived here phi is latitude angle and delta is declination angle now i think all the terms to find the h not that is solar radiation energy on a on a horizontal surface is Uh, we can find it now 
so the terms should be clear now if we try to um, mod module for finding energy on flat plate collector then we can say we have the latitude angle means the location of the uh, collector and the day day of the year if we have n then from the day of the year we can find the delta okay to find the delta we can place a conversion delta and here we can find the k constant and this is phi so knowing these three terms just by uh, knowing the latitude and day of the year for which we are trying to find the radiation's energy we can find phi delta and k and from these three we can find the h naught so in this way we are able to module the uh, energy level finding in any solar radiations on a particular day at a particular location for flat plate collector so hopefully the topics uh, the topic is uh, clear to all of you and uh, at the next turn we will discuss about the solar radiation energy on a tilted surface at that case we will not consider the horizontal surface to get the optimum energy we will tilt our uh, the collector plate 